Bizarre. A story that destroys people emotionally. <laughs> That's enough of part one. We've already seen that. Let's move on to part two. Just before we get into part two, me and Sean want to give a huge fucking thank you to every single person that watched part one. Because that very quickly became our most viewed video ever. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy part two. Damn, Puck got, Puck got an upgrade. Puck got the upgrade. As you can tell, we're still pretty giddy from the last chapter that we read. So coming into this chapter, we're just as giddy. Which of course leads to stuff like this. Ah, oh, not more piss. <laughs> into the piss. <laughs> I banish you to the piss realm. <laughs> You activated my trap card! Piss puddle! Also, if you haven't seen part one, you'll have no idea what this piss puddle joke is about, so please go watch that if you don't know. They can't do a thing on their own. All they ever do is talk and buzz around people like flies. Makes me want to scum. <laughs> I turned and saw what you were doing. <laughs> oh my fucking god. So if it's really not clear, we have a very hard time taking things seriously. But to catch anyone up who doesn't know what's going on in the story, Guts has continued on his adventure and Puck wants to know if he wants a companion. They continue on but bump into an old man who wants to give Guts a ride. Guts then says no in his usual dickish manner and then the old man says this. <laughs> Quite an affliction. Don't worry, my friend. I have God on anime on my side. Well, we continue on and meet the old man's granddaughter, who definitely has a name, probably. Where she hands out some wine to Guts and Puck, and well... That can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be true, can <laughs> Okay, let me stop that there because that joke goes on for way too long because we thought it was way too funny And now watching this in the edit it is too much of nothing. That's good. Well <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get a little sleep now <coughs> So guts falls asleep and then starts tripping the most balls anyone has ever tripped there's an eyeball in the water droplet what the fuck that second panel looks like a nipple <laughs> when i saw it i was like what is happening is there someone what did just we miss between this chest? and this <laughs> <laughs> dude it's the eye of cthulhu wait <gasps> terraria <gasps> okay so because we skipped over it basically guts is being haunted by these evil spirits and that's why he's having this nightmare Oh my god, you know what that looks like? What? The fucking puffer fish that goes, aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so after that, Guts wakes up and explains to everyone that they're under attack from Incubus. And this is, of course, where the story reminded us that it is not a comedy. Oh, oh, it's that kind of an, uh. Oh. Honestly, say, I was like, I don't like where this is going, bro. Yes, that is in fact the granddaughter, Colette, she does have a name, fucking dying. And then to add to all of that, Guts gets attacked by an absurd amount of skeletons. And of course, because me and Sean suffer from brain rot, we decided that every skeleton is telling a joke. Why didn't the skeleton take anybody to prom? <laughs> because he had no fuck. What is the heaviest skeleton way? A metric skeleton? Yeah, again, we kind of did something that was like funny one time and dragged it out way too long. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave an unedited part right here just so you can see what I'm trying to work with to make it seem kind of funny. What's a skeleton's favorite <laughs> musical instrument? <laughs> no! <laughs> I said no joke. It's a trombone. <laughs> no! What a uh, why are we like this? <laughs> why? Looks like he got ahead of himself. So no head. Oh. Oh, she's alive, but not alive. But 
So basically, a bunch of fighting happened with not a lot of words. That's why this has been cut up quite short. And then she comes back alive and stabs Guts. Is he crying? Did he just cry? I have no idea what this is. Is that a tear? Oh, I think it's just the blood droplets. No, it doesn't. It doesn't match up. I have no idea. He could be crying. Then after that depressing moment, more fighting happens and we get hit with one of the hardest panels of the entire volume. I mean, look at it. It's so cool. And after that, honestly, that's kind of it. Which does kind of make this video kind of short. So I apologize for that, but it's a short volume. Also, my bad that it took so long for this video to come out. I lost access to Premiere Pro, which is what I'm trained in. So to make this video, I had to learn an entire new system. I've never used DaVinci Resolve in my life, but I hope the video came out okay. <laughs> Either way, I'll make sure that part three of this three-part series comes out a lot sooner than in two weeks.